What's up guys, this is Altarian with the final 10 idle challenge. We're doing the survivor stream. Uh, I'm going to show you my loadout again real quick. My upgrades again, it's the same as the other two dreams if you've seen those videos. Uh, if not, I do the melee upgrades on my pike. And with the mortar I make sure that I have immunity to bond damage. And besides that, I just get as much damage on my mortar as I possibly can. I also get the crit. And here are my spirits. They're all fairly standard, I believe. Um, a couple of these I could get away without using Whale Ale because I don't end up using Squirt Mystic or Skills. Uh, the Health Tonic one I also don't really need because uh, I, I actually don't use Health Tonics in any of these. So starting out our dream, as always, we are going to clear out all the rubble around so that we don't have stuff getting in our way as we're running away from stuff because that sucks when you, uh, you get caught. And here's the first wave. Uh, the female Ura melee are pretty easy. They attack fairly slowly. They have a double attack, so if you're guarding it like I do, uh, make sure that you uh, do guard both hits when they do that. They um, on the I like to use the stun against all the melees. Just stun and then attack with a mortar at short range. Uh, it makes them really easy to kill that way. And you'll one-shot them with a crit and two shots otherwise. Now some rattletails. These guys are just nuisances. Um, your mortar will hit them while they're underground, so just spam mortar shots at them and they will go down pretty rapidly. Stay on the move, you don't want to take too much damage because they're going to throw balls of crap or whatever that is on your head uh, if you stay in one spot. So we are moving on to our next wave, which is the female ranged Ura, which they do three gunshots and they stop. Uh, they like to teleport after taking damage, which is why I avoid using my pike like that, because it just gets annoying. So I try to, you know, one or two shot them with my mortar. Uh, I prefer getting a crit, obviously, just to make things faster. We hungry in the tunnels of the Tazel terminals, so we took the steel in from a Our next wave, I believe, is going to have more rattle tails. They're just, again, just a nuisance. Oh, no, it's the towers. Uh, these towers, uh, two mortar shots to kill them, unless you crit or power shot. Then it'll be a one shot. You'll see me power shot both of these right here. Just make it a little faster. Um, I like to use the pillars to to keep the towers from shooting me. You can also just stay out of range of them. Uh, they don't do much damage, but it'll be like a constant slow on you, which is a pain in the butt. So the ranged male auras, they just throw a lot of repeater bolts at you. Um, I like to just use line of sight as much as I can. Like if you want, you can just spam your shield, just shield let go, shield let go, and you can kill them with counter blocks that way. Um, you will actually gain health doing that if you want to do that. You take like one hit and then you gain two or three health every counter block. Just cleaning up more of these uh, stupid little rattle tails. Uh, against single of the small ones, your pike will one shot them, so I think it's easier to just hit them with a pike. Against any more, just throw a mortar and you can uh, kill them all regardless of whether they're underground or not, which is always nice. So cleaning up the last of these guys, and we're going to get ready for our next wave. I don't remember what the next wave is. I think it might have spawners. Oh no, it's the male melee Ura, which are the most dangerous by far. I get lucky here that I kill both of these with that mortar shot. They're also going to get really sketchy. Um, you want to use the same tactic with blocking for a stun, and then throwing a mortar shot. Um, when they pop out, you can also throw a mortar shot just halfway between you and them, and they're going to teleport forward slowly towards you, and you can kill them that, or at least get one shot, rather, on them that way. Which, if it crits, it will kill them. So for these spawners, I take terrible paths, and I end up walking into a couple eyes, so I take a lot of damage. But you really, you want to handle them pretty much the same as the squirt spawners in the first stream. Just uh, run away from the stuff that gets spawned, throw mortar shots at the spawner. Uh, these spawners have a lot more health, so it takes a little longer. The nice thing about these is all of the eyeballs will die after you kill their spawner, so you don't even have to worry about them. Just kill the spawner, and then they'll disappear. So some more Ura here. Use the pillars as best you can in order to keep your yourself from taking too much damage. Uh, this wave is one of each, actually. 
just so you know what's coming. And this last one will be a male uh, ranged aura. Let's use line of sight to keep avoid damage. Do so much in the Tazzle terminals. He needed Ceylonia to know the aura had changed. And our next wave is more rattle tails. I think we might have a tower or two pop up in this wave as well. Um, it's just more nuisance stuff. The aura are the only real danger in any of these. Oh, this is our first super aura. It's the super female melee, which you can handle the exact same way as the other female melee. Um, they take like 400 damage total, I think, to kill. So they have a little more health, but they're pretty easy overall. I'm gonna avoid as much fire as I can while I throw out some mortar shots. I actually don't counter block much in this run, which is rare for me. I usually counter block a lot against the range stuff just because it's really, really easy to counter block those attacks. And it does do pretty decent damage. It's like 60 damage or so per counter block. Maybe 75. It's quite a bit. And we're waiting on our next wave. Oh, this is where I forget that there's another tower. The journey was hard. But he knew how to fend for himself. And now we're waiting on our next wave. Saw the rippling walls which is going to have some male ranged aura, and I think we might get a super aura in here too. Yeah, super female ranged, which just shoots a lot more shots per volley. You know, it's really easy if you just throw the pillar between you and her, like I did there. It just makes your life a lot easier, you don't have to dodge around. He endeared and kill stuff a lot faster that way. Straight away. And in turn, he fell in love with the city and his people. One in particular. And next wave, we're gonna have some towers and a lot of the little rattle tails. Just ignore the towers if you don't get a decent opportunity to shoot at them. Kill off the, the large packs of the rattle tails, and then slowly clean up from there. This is a pretty easy. This young lady was fascinated by the aura, but she never met anyone like This stream is actually fairly she disappointing for most of it. You know, most of it's just really, really easy, and then there's like a couple of waves that just kind of, you know, knock your face off, and you're like, what just happened to me? So this one has a super male aura who's going to shoot a uh, single poison darts at you. Um, I mean, he's pretty easy the to handle. I wouldn't suggest counter blocking spot. against him. It's a little hard to time unless you're far away. And it's just not really See worth it. You just use line of sight so that you can uh, you can get clean shots on them. It's a lot easier that way. And here we have the giant lunkhead. Uh, just gonna handle them the same way as we handle the smaller ones. Our pike is armor piercing, so we're just gonna stab him in the head over and over. It's a lot easier than having to get behind him. And with some lucky crits, we'll kill him a lot faster. But you don't really need the crits. Just uh, Roll away, two attacks, roll away, two attacks. Pretty simple. And this is where we're going to counter our first super male uh, melee. And you saw him hit me there, and it took off half my health. These guys are pretty dangerous, and they have a lot of health, too. What I'm going to do here is now that everything else is spawned, and I managed to kill one of the ranged chicks, I pull him behind the pillar so that he's not taking her shots, because I don't want him to teleport around because things get really sketchy when he starts teleporting all over the place. And you're just going to shield mortar shot, wait for your mortar to recharge, just keep shielding his shots and attacking when he's stunned from hitting your shield. That's really the safest way to handle them. They are very scary, and they're really the, the sole reason that the last wave is as hard as it is. So now we're moving on to some rattle tails and some spawners. I believe there's three spawners in this wave. Uh, you're just going to handle them the same as your other spawners. Just run around, avoid running into any of the eyeballs, because they blow up for ridiculous damage. And the, the spawners, they don't heal very quickly, actually, unlike some of the other high health stuff. So that's why I split my damage between the two, because it doesn't heal at all back by the time I get back to them anyway. So that's why I'm kind of maximizing my damage output. I'm going to clean up this guy, and run on over to the other, and get a nice crit so that finishes off, and then most of them die, I decide to throw a mortar shot just so, so I don't have to keep running from them anymore. Now I'm going to finish off this rattle tail, 
emerge from that hole in the ground. We are moving on to the nightmare. second to last Everything wave, I believe. Gone was twisted upside down. Third to last. Oh, these are the large eyes. You see me fail really hard here and jump right into them. Take about a third of my health and damage. Um, it's nice if you can do what I did there and just be able to face them. You're going to see me try to do that a few times, but then other ones are coming so that I, uh, I have to move again. If you can face them and just spam your pike at them, that's the safest way to kill them. And it's pretty fast that way. You see me wait to attack just so I, I make sure that I'm safe, because if I attack and there's one coming, I might end up screwing up and taking damage. And there it is again. I, I was pretty sure that guy was going to sneak past, so that's why I didn't attack. Finish off this guy. The world and now it is time for the second to last wave, which is going to be a lot of towers. What few faces and they don't do much street. damage, so you're going to see me just kind of tank quite a few, just so that I can uh, kill them off a little more quickly. Since there's so many that spawn, you're going to end up surrounded most of the time, so you're going to see me have a really hard time actually uh, abusing line of sight on these guys. And I ultimately just decide to take the damage and just kill them off more quickly. Proc slowed him down a little bit there, but we're just going to keep moving, keep throwing mortar shots. Uh, it's nice when you can get the power shots off. I'm going to fail on my power shots here because they're so far away. These are the last two towers. I think there was eight towers in total, or maybe ten. There we go, and now it is time for the last wave. What I'm going to do here is I want to use the pillars as much as possible to keep the ranged ones off me if I don't have the chance to kill them. Uh, I get a nice lucky spawn on having the, the melee female first so that I can just kill her before the next one spawns. But now I have the melee male and I'm going to be fighting him for a good chunk of the rest of this. Just trying to make sure that he doesn't get hits on me because he hits so hard. And now that I've seen them spawn, I'm going to move away so that she doesn't have line of sight on me while I continue handling him. And I end up getting some lucky hits on her just because the mortar damages uh, has such a large radius. And now we're on to the last guy. And we're just using our pillar, and we crit him, and Olak naturally procs while we're trying to kill the large ball of fragments, because that's required, apparently. So that is the final dream. It was pretty tough, but if you work at it, you'll get it. So now I would like to propose a question to my tens of viewers. Uh, what else would you like me to do a guide of? I, I like bashing, and I th I f but I feel like I've pretty much tapped out the guide potential here. So, I mean, if you have any other bashing guides that you'd like to see, give me a shout. Um, but if there's any other games you'd like to see, I'm absolutely interested in branching out beyond bashing here. I definitely want to do some more guides, so any suggestions you have for me, drop a comment, drop me a PM, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'd really like to hear from you guys.